We recently had a Christmas party at work with a Mexican theme and so I decided to dress in a Day of the Dead costume and I thought I'd share with you guys how I created this fascinator for my outfit. So you can see I've got a fascinator base there which I just picked up from Spotlight. Um, I'm really wanting to go mainly with um, red roses. So I have two sizes of red roses. I believe they're a latex type of rose. They're not material. Um, I find sometimes the material roses, they will fray on the edges and these ones um, have a nice uh, smooth edge that doesn't fray. So I'm just pulling out different components to see how I want to start off the design. I have this gold lace uh, that I bought quite some time ago. I think I got that from eBay and um, I thought that would be a nice base for the roses just to cover that fascinator so that you know if there's any spots that are um, left uncovered that you can see this nice gold lace. Just add some more dimension and some layers to the piece. I also have those little feathers as well that will sit at the back. So the first step is attaching this nice large clip. It's a curved clip so it sits in the fascinator uh, quite well and I'm using an E6000 glue to attach that so that it's nice and secure. You may also decide to put some stitches into it as well afterwards. Uh, I didn't in this case um, just because I was short on time but I may go in and add a couple of stitches just in case. So this is an applique uh, butterfly that I purchased you can see it's already got all of the color there but I'm adding glitter to it and there's also some sort of white edges and things to some of the stitching so I'm just sort of wanting to cover some of that up. So this is just a, a red glitter paste. You could use glue and add glitter on top or something like that if you don't have um, like a glitter glue. Either one's fine. And that's just a squeezy um, black glitter that I'm adding for the body and in a couple of the other um, black parts of the wings. I'm also adding this to the edge because as I mentioned there's some white um, edges to some of it and I really kind of want to cover that up. Just being careful not to squeeze it too hard so that um, I get a big splodge of glitter on there. Now this is a gold paint uh, that I'm using on top here and uh, adding some designs into those uh, little spots on the wings. And I'm adding some um, E6000 glue onto a couple of spots on the wings just because I, I decided I want to add some beads um, onto the design just to add a bit of interest.
All right, so back to the fascinator. Um, you can see I've got a couple of um, clips there just uh, holding the clip for the um, fascinator while it dries. I quite often use, um, they're just little like clip, hair clip blanks that I use to hold things when I'm um, gluing them. And I'm using E6000 again for the lace. So now I'm just again using E6000 to attach these feathers. I decided to use the E6000 for these base components because I really want them to glue on quite well and then after that I move on to hot glue um, and just add little bits of E6000 in amongst that to um, help secure it as well. These are just velvet uh, leaves that I had in my stash. Um, I think the purple goes really well with the red and that's why I decided to use some um, you know sort of purple and burgundy colors in there because I've got a number of um, hair clips now on different parts of the piece just holding it while it all dries it just helps me keep going with the piece and makes sure that things don't sort of slide off as they're drying had a tiny bit of hand dyed lace which I thought also worked in, in nicely with the colours, just added a little pop of something. Um, so I popped that down there as well. And now I'm going in with the hot glue for the roses and I'm being really generous with the amount of glue to make sure that it sticks. Uh, this is the first time I've used this hot glue gun and I've noticed the glue takes a little longer to dry than previous ones I've had so I'm just making sure to be careful with that. So I realised as well I had a smaller uh, latex rose um, so I end up with three sizes of the latex roses there um, in the piece. It's a good idea to get some variations in size of flowers if you're doing a piece like this. Um, because it just helps you uh, have flexibility with the design. Some places you may not want to put a massive big rose and I, I like to sort of graduate the sizes down towards the edge of the fascinator which is why I wanted the different sizings. Now you can see as well I've got the velvet green leaves that I've added a couple on as well and the rich Deep green and purple goes well with that red. So I'm just piece by piece slowly putting together uh, different components, you know, building out the Hair piece. I want this fascinator to be quite big and bulky. Um, I, you know, want it to to really be a statement piece. So my butterfly is dry, and I decide to pop him just in between a couple of roses there. Um, I add a bit more glue onto the um, wings as well, just to press them into the roses, so that it sits nice and open. I'm just using wire cutters there to trim off the um, the wire stem of the flowers there because obviously I, I don't want that stem 
um, on the end of the flower. I just want the flower itself. Now I have these tiny little red material roses. Um, they're a brighter red than the um, than the sort of scarlet red of the other roses and I quite like that. It adds a little pop and so I decide they will work well sort of in between um, the large roses. Again, just a little bit of hot glue, adding those in. See it's filling out quite nicely. You can only see a little bit of that lace underneath, um, but it does add um, a nice bit of interest and I purposely made it um, longer than the fascinator shape itself so that you know it sticks out past there. And um, I've added a few pinky purple velvet leaves as well and a few more green leaves in there. Just really building that, that piece out. I really love the way these bright red little um, material roses look in amongst those larger ones. They look great. Now again, I'm going in with my um, glitter paste there and um, just, you know, covering the uh, tips of the roses in that glitter. If you don't have a glitter paste, you could add um, glue and sprinkle some glitter on top although I, it would get a little bit messy so if you can get your hands on a glitter glue um, they have them all over the place it can be any sort of um, brand just anything that's um, a glue paint or what have you with the glitter in there already ready for you to paint straight on um, works the best for this And there's the finished piece. So you can see better in these pictures the um, little bright red roses um, on top there and the butterfly peeking out, um, the lovely colours of the uh, different leaves that I've put in there and a little peak of gold coming out the bottom. And uh, here's a little picture of me. Um, uh, this is at the end of the night. My husband took a photo of a couple of photos of me um, with my makeup. Um, I'm hoping to have another tutorial with the makeup soon, so please subscribe and become part of the Craft Nerd family. All right, see you, Craft Nerds.